of a respect for Hertz, Allen, and Mahomes. I do have all of them higher than Justin Fields. I don't know that the the passing volume will necessarily be there. Will be there for Fields. Obviously, they added DJ Moore, a huge upgrade to what they had as far as the pass catchers in this offense. Exactly the type of thing that Fields needs. The Bears following that trend that has that we've seen with these quarterbacks over the past couple of years. The Eagles did it with trading for AJ Brown for Jalen Hurts in his you know to help to help fast track his development. The Bills did it trading for Stephon Diggs to try to help fast track Josh Allen's development. In both scenarios, they passed with flying colors. The Bears are are following suit, doing the same thing, getting DJ Moore in upper echelon. I think he's a top 15 receiver at the uh, in in the NFL. I do. He's been hampered by terrible quarterback play, being hidden on bad teams in Carolina for the start of his career outside of maybe his rookie season with Cam Newton. Um, outside of that, it's been it's been pretty murky for DJ Moore in Carolina. He's still put up strong numbers despite bad quarterback play. Now he goes to an offense where yeah, the Bears have also been they have not been good in recent seasons in their own right, but now they have now they have the pieces to potentially turn that around. Uh I think Moore is a great uh, a great um situation for Fields and I think Fields is a great situation for Moore. It's an upgrade for both compared to what they've had to work with for the first couple seasons of their career. Uh now Fields has that guy. I do like Darnell Mooney as a wide receiver too, by the way. Draft him at cost. Uh, the, his his ADP is in a full free fall from last year, and I think now he's in a much better spot, and his ADP is probably a little too low. But anyway, that's a testament to I, what I expect from this Bears offense, which is to take a step forward with fields at the helm, with fields at the controls. He's got QB1 rushing upside, which means you've got QB1 overall upside. If you at the quarterback position run for the most yards at the position, you're going to be in the conversation for overall QB1 fantasy finish as well. Fields has that upside. He averaged, I think, over over 20 fantasy points per game last year. That should, that should tick upward. That should tick upward on average by at least two or three points. And maybe that's being a little bit conservative. But with them adding DJ Moore... There's no reason to believe that Justin Fields doesn't take a step forward. He absolutely should take a step forward as a passer. He's got elite rushing upside, similar to Jalen Hurts' backfield. I'm not worried about the Bears' backfield. I, I'm intrigued by all of those guys at cost. Uh, Khal, uh, Khalil Herbert has proven to be a rock-solid, consistent, efficient producer. Uh I'm not worried about him taking potential scoring opportunities away from Justin Fields. They signed Donta Foreman away from Carolina. Donta Foreman had an excellent season last year. They drafted Roshan Johnson in, I think it was the fourth round. It's an intriguing little backfield that Chicago has put together. I think they're going to be really good. And I think Fields, the, Fields' element running the football is going to make them even, you know, make them even better. They're going to be a solid, they're going to be solid running the ball. They also addressed what they sorely needed to. They, they addressed offensive line in the draft. Again, the pieces are in place for the Bears. Which means it's now all set up for Justin Fields to succeed. I haven't even mentioned Cole Komet yet, who uh should break into or has a great chance at least to break into the top 10 conversation at the, at the tight end position, at least from a pass catcher, from a fantasy perspective, you know, DJ Moore helps out that whole offense. All the, the, you know, the trickle down effect. It means Cole Komet, less coverage to deal with Darnell Mooney, less coverage, less focus, less attention to those guys. This entire offense should take a step forward. Justin Fields has, you know, again, he has that upside of running for 800 to 1,000 yards. If he does that, yeah, he's the QB one. 